Chef Jed Gerard, so good to be back in the kitchen with you today. What are we cooking? Today we're making a pineapple clafouti with passion fruit and coconut. So we're just gonna quickly preheat the oven, 165 on steam bake. It's very simple, that should take five minutes. So all we need to do with this recipe is put all the dry ingredients. We have almond meal. Some flour here. Some plain flour. Some icing sugar. And just a little pinch of salt. What do you love about this recipe? It's so delicious. When I used to live in France, I used to eat this all the time. It was my go-to on my days off. I used to go down to the little corner bistro and always finish my meal with this. Okay, great. Now the dry ingredients are mixed. We're just going to add our wet ingredients. I have to say, as a at-home cook, the thing that I really love about the Neff oven, which is so unique, in fact, it's unique only to this oven in the market, is the circotherm function. So, you know, when you, you open the oven and you're used to having this blast of heat, it actually pulls the heat back in and retains it, which is amazing. It is amazing and it's so important to retain that heat. For example, if you're cooking a souffle, in a normal traditional oven, you'd open that up and it would deflate because all the hair's coming out, but the air will stay in there. Before I had this oven, I used to really struggle with having to finish one thing and start another, but now I can have something like my meat in the oven and be doing a dessert at the same time and know that I can add it in. Absolutely, and for example, we could be baking this clafouti in the oven and you could be getting perfect crackling on a roast pork at this very same time. So very few ovens on the market. I love how we're bonding ridges. over this oven. Yeah. We both have this oven. <laughs> Excellent, so we're just gonna put them in the um, Neff oven on combi steam, 165 for about 15 minutes. Just add about a tablespoon of pineapple to that, Georgia, but you can use any fruits in season. Pineapple is a good choice. Alrighty, let's get these in the oven, Jed. Let's do it. Now what I'm loving is how close I was able to get because of the slide and hide function. It's such a good feature. It prevents you from burning yourself and also it allows you to get a lot better access into the oven. I think they're ready. The other really cool thing about this oven that I love is that and steam in general and having an oven with steam is that there's almost zero transference between a savoury flavour and a sweet flavour. Absolutely, and you can just see how crispy they are on top. Oh, they are. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to dust them with some icing sugar. Oh, they look great, Jed. And then we have some beautiful mascarpone. I love it. It's going to be so do. rich <laughs> and um, decadent. Some passion fruit pulp. And we can be quite generous with that. Okay. The acidity and the passion fruit is really going to cut through the sweetness. Just have some very lightly toasted coconut here. Oh, gorgeous. Look at these. Shall we try? Let's try. Jed, you're too good. Mm. That is so good. It's so moist, but crispy on the top. It's cooked really nicely. It's got that nice, almost custard-like consistency. Thank you so much, Jed. Having you cook a dessert is a real treat. You're welcome, it's my pleasure.